Chief of Staff Lionel Max Hurst suggests that the only viable option for Liat is for regional shareholder governments to pump more money into the embattled airline. While there have been calls in some quarters for governments to reduce their taxes and for the airline to cut remuneration for pilots, the Chief of Staff says these measures aren't workable. Noting that the airline's expenditure far outweighs its revenue, Hearst reiterates his stance that shareholder government subsidy is critical. It would be best to get to the profit level, the but, profit uh, level, yeah, uh -huh. but the question is how, how can that be done? Mm -hmm. And the answer is, uh, given the small size of Liat, the number of airplanes it flies, the number of people it employs, it seems to me that uh, expecting profit out of Liat is to expect pigs to fly. Uh, Liat um, uh, will continue to require uh, subsistence from governments in order for it to continue to move. Hearst's comments are in the wake of statements made last week by Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dr. Ralph Gonzalves. Dr. Gonzalves announced that his country will not be pumping any more money into the airline until it improves on what he termed its poor service to St. Vincent. However, the Chief of Staff believes that it's only a matter of time before Dr. Gonzalez changes his mind. They have to. Uh, uh, um, Mr. Gonzalez can say that, but his debt to Liat will grow. Mm -hmm. And another administration, um, uh, you know, we all live in a political environment, huh? and he can say that to us. But there are some people in St. Vincent who are saying, we would never do that to Liat. We would never abandon Liat. And so what's going to also happen, and see, it seems to me, is that uh, when... Um, when the elections, when time comes closer to the elections, Mr. Gonzalez will have to change his mind. Meanwhile, former manager of marketing, Gatesworth James, estimates that the airline is losing 10 to 15 percent of travelers from international destinations because of its poor connection system with larger airlines. The problem that the system had um, some time ago is that it can only talk, can only take the bookends going in, but cannot take the bookend going back. And therefore, you have that, that gap there, which they have to find other means of doing it. Mm -hmm. Now, the other means is complicated. And not many people, uh, passengers don't wait for these things. You want to know you can get a new net, and you can and go just book right, right through, mm -hmm. and you have it all clarified. Now, until that problem is completely resolved, they're going to have some difficulty. James says the airline will have to rectify the problem as it continues on its mission to increase revenue. Amas Spencer reporting for ABS News.